Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Eastward. Last time we were able to get Sam's letter of recommendation to enroll her in school. John went and did a little bit of dirty work on the ranch. We found out that one of the kids being bullied in the school actually might be trapped down below. So we're going to go ahead and try to rescue Daniel. Do our best to save him. Things are going to get a little spooky. I guess in a way, you could consider this kind of the first dungeon of the game. And what I find weird is that there isn't really um, a lot of music. Oops, that was dumb. <laughs> um, these are one of the earlier enemies. These are kind of these like little snake plants. They're very annoying. But yeah, there's not really a ton of music in the early goings of this part of the game. All the dungeon themes are pretty much the same as far as I know. I haven't beaten this game 100%. So maybe, you know, when you beat the game off all the way to completion, then perhaps it's a little different, but I wouldn't know. I found pretty far though. This is one of those games that uh, actually my reasoning for why I didn't finish it was something that probably a lot of people dealt with, if I'm being honest, is, um, the game actually had some pretty bad, some pretty bad glitches that would prevent you from being able to finish it. You would get stuck in like a, like a save loop, which is really frustrating. So I don't know if they fixed that or not. If they have fixed it, then obviously I'll be finishing this let's play. <laughs> if not, then well, there might be uh, some discussions that we'll be having in the not too distant future. I want to say that I was maybe like, um, oops, I was maybe like three quarters of the way through the game. I think I got to one of the later chapters before things kind of went awry. But this dungeon, as we're exploring it, this is the Blow School dungeon. Ooh, a steam peppercorn. Let's see what this is. Heart orb. Yeah, these are pieces of heart. If you thought this game wasn't already like Zelda, there you go. That's confirmation. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would say in general that as long as the game is fully intact and I can actually get through it, then I'll play it. I'm saying that kind of a little, a little nervous just because one of my pet peeves has to be when I'm playing a game for this channel and for whatever reason there is a hiccup with my software or with the game itself. Had quite a few problems with Pikmin 2 initially when I started to play that one to the point that I thought I wasn't going to be able to finish it, which obviously was a pretty big annoyance because when I go through and I play these games, I do my best to vet these situations and I don't take it lightly when I can't finish something like to always bring everything to completion. So any sort of a glitch or, um, you know, error with saving or gameplay, whatever, uh, that's obviously not gonna sit too well with me. Makes me a bit of a grumpy Gus. All right, looks like we got a bit of a steam timing puzzle here. It looks like a one, two, three, one, a two, a three. That is a reference to Tootsie Pops. Anybody remember Tootsie Pops? Does anybody remember candy and fun and joy? And cutscenes. Looks like we found Daniel. Oh, got himself lost. How do you get past all those steam traps? Shouldn't he be just scalded right now? His skin should be just melting off his bones. Daniel. Daniel. Anybody remember that? You goof, came here and rescued you. Let's see some gratitude, huh, bud? Yeah, what are we doing down there? How would you come uh, pitch an assist? Be nice instead of being scaredy cats up here. Maybe they're being the lookout. The Iron Dragon. Looks like Michael might be a little uh, religious. But Karota. Always half full. <laughs> Old stash, okay. Guys, we did it! 
We rescued Daniel. And that's the end of the game. That's it. But we did not see the aforementioned Iron Dragon, so maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. Ta-da! We did it. We are very much okay, Spick and Span. Big Eyes. Is Daniel's name Big Eyes now? All right, so let's go ahead and check out our quest log. Let's see what that says. Uh, probably would help if I went the right direction. Go kill some time around town. Looks like Sam's gotten into some trouble at school. Daniel's fallen into the tunnel beneath the school. And now they're excited to head back and make dinner for those growling tums. Looks like... We need to leave the area. Did that say fast traveling? I've played through this game exactly one time, and I don't know if I ever fast traveled. I try not to do that when I play games, on this channel at least, because there's obviously more fruitful experiences that you'll get from wandering around. I think that when you start fast traveling, you lose a little bit of the essence of what you're trying to do. When I play games casually, I'm fine with that. Oh, it's the Colonel. Selling some milk. Oh, I cannot have milk. And that sends me straight to Diarrhea Island. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of a flyover of everybody winding down for the day. Everything is kind of sad. These little mobile homes being lit by artificial lighting elements. Pop. Do you say soda or pop, viewers? Which is it for you? It's definitely soda. And if you say pop, you're wrong. But that's okay. Depends upon where you're from. Some people just say Coke for everything. Can I have a Sprite? Oh, you mean Coke? So yeah, that sounds like that's the, uh, the quit and bell. Everybody's done for the day. But it's weird because we should have been working, probably. But it sounds like more than just the kids know about whatever's underneath this school. Let's talk to Daniel. Daniel, how we doing, bud? How we holding up? I believe you're dead, too. There's definitely something up above. And Sam's seen it because she's an experiment. The world above ground. I guess that's... I guess, I guess that's one word. The above ground, the below ground, the underground. Let's talk to this little jerk. Yeah. You little turd. Trying to hide your face behind that mask. Now I'm assuming that we're probably headed back home to... to make ourselves dinner and essentially end the day again. I actually thought there was going to be more of the underground part of the school at this point in the story, but there isn't, and I was wrong. That's okay. We will still continue to progress the story. First, we're going to save. Don't you hate it when, whenever you're really hungry and you look in the fridge and you hope that there's going to be something different every time you do? It's always the same. All right, let's go home. It's been a long day of going to school, working at the ranch, saving the lives of children. Does John know William? I don't know if John's actually been above ground before. John is, of course, the silent protagonist, so any information that you glean from this is going to be interpreted through Sam. Fan assist. Maybe he just loves Dungeons and Dragons. That's where all the bad people go. H E double chair and sticks. John's just like, girl, let me let me cook. Alright, in peace. See him having a little bit of an existential crisis now that she's learned that. People that go above ground might be considered a little crazy. And that's what she said. Open house at the school. What could possibly go wrong? Does anybody remember open houses? Where you would have your parents come and talk to your teacher? Did you ever have a teacher growing up that you just couldn't stand? For whatever reason, maybe it was legitimate or arbitrary. Just didn't get along. But as a diligent parent, John should join Sam for the open house, of course. It's the right thing to do. Mm. 
you got to represent your kid. And our friends have joined us outside our home. I don't think that you need to jump down the kid's throat after all. He's been through a lot, all right? Traumatic experience. Yeah, Karota, there you go. Stand up for him. And that's unfortunate. You should never have to be used to bullying. Bullies suck. Don't be a bully. Unless it's about things that don't matter. All right. I feel like some of the spacing in this is a little weird too, like between don't and just. feels like there's one extra space there that shouldn't be, and that's kind of consistent with a lot of the text in this game. That's just me being nitpicky, but whatever. Oh, a day has passed. Okay. I wonder if Sam refers to John as her dad. Oh, there you go. Right away. Isn't my dad. He's just... John. Oh, there's another spacing issue. That's okay. There's no sense in bringing it up every time. That would be pointless. But yes, John is not technically Sam's dad, but you know what? In the reality of things, if you have a mother or father figure who raises you, that's mom, that's dad. You know, it doesn't have to be biological. Anybody could be a parent. And yes. Thank you, Daniel. Just a little awkward with his phrasing. But I mean, come on, who isn't awkward with their phrasing sometimes and trying to express gratitude? And he... But apparently he thinks his dad is lying about the above ground. Sam knows the truth, though. Sam knows that there is a place above ground. How much of that and to what extent, we don't know yet. But we will find out. But apparently, you gotta be hush-hush about the above ground. You can't be talking about those fanatical things. Or fantastical things, whatever you want to say it. But it is time for an actual day of school. Remember, this is the open house. We can all go together. As friends, right? Thanks for telling us. Not like we really need to know that much. But Sam is on her way to school. Let's go ahead and check our quest log real quick and see what the game wants us to do. Looks like we're headed that way as well. Sam, are we getting a little codependent here? You should be able to go to school by yourself. Can't have us holding your hand all along, but we do have to attend an open house at first. Let's see what the principal has to say. Yeah, you sure did. That we're a hero? What? Yeah, back off, okay? We saved a kid's life. Let's talk to some people. Um, you wouldn't be talking about Sam, would you? Maybe they're making some awkward statements about Daniel, who knows? Looks like Mr. Wright from Sim City is here. Potentially exchanging awkward letters with a goat from Zelda. This is the janitor done. Oh, that's very nice. I don't know how you could really come to that conclusion considering that we've only been in school for a day and hours. But hey, we'll take it. Any compliment's a good compliment. Sort of. Unless it's backhanded and then screw you. Fang? Are you stealing lunches? That's faux show. Well, that's a very uh, early 2000s thing to say. Faux show. Does anybody say that anymore? Do you say faux show, viewers? What's some outdated terminology you say? No cap. Telling me would be lit AF. I mean, he is literally right outside this room, so you can just peek your head out and you'll find him. I'm not entirely sure what all of these rooms are, but we are going to explore a little bit. It's fun. Oh, yeah, don't talk about your thing at school. Definitely don't do that. About the report, the Mueller report. Yeah, you know what? Like, I know it's not spelled the same way, but like, that's very topical that if this had happened, if this Let's Play was done, like, I don't know, like six or seven years ago, this would be very different. Oof, 
Everybody is a little hostile. No need. Oh, you look like somebody important. This is the teacher of the class. You ready to join us in a minute? Don't rush us, okay? We can still continue down here and explore. Unfortunately, nobody's going underneath the school now. That has essentially been all locked up. I don't think there's anything in here that I know of. Once again, I don't have any sort of like super assured memory of where anything is. So, you know, I just kind of dilly dally a little bit. And it's always kind of fun to peek into places and see what's around. This looks like a, a collectible, perhaps. Three more tokens for Pixball. We'll take it. Don't forget to explore as much as you can, of course. And this looks like the kids in the classroom are all assembled. Who are you? Oh, Demir. I thought that was a person wearing an apron. Oh. I mean, Demir is somebody that we worked with down at the ranch. So... Why they're here, maybe they're a custodian as well? Who knows? Uh, excuse you, I was killing slugs and weird snake plants the entire time, Sam, so back off. The Iron Dragon, there it is again. I wonder if we'll run into something like that eventually, perhaps. We will see. But of course, to actually get this scene going with the proper flag, you do the talk to the teacher. And she will commence class for the open house. Let's do it. Yeah, seems pretty serious, if that's what you believe. Seems like she's reading some literature. Of course, dissuading anybody from going above ground, the forbidden land. This has been kind of spewed into the brains of these children. Seems kind of more like propaganda to me. Those above groundists always trying to get us down. Yeah, what is it, you little jerk? That is a wonderful question. Good luck explaining that. Oh! Well, here's Sam to champion going above ground. She's got some first-hand experience, although they may not believe her. <laughs> Sam, don't. Uh-oh, this is going to cause some turmoil here with the undergrounders. That hair kind of, that little hair flip kind of reminds me of uh, the prince from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga who would always flip his hair and have that sheen sound effect. Sam's a realist. She's been there. She's experienced it. She knows. And of course, we don't really have proof to back up our claims, but I guess the bullying terminology of the day is the fantasist is somebody who believes that the above ground is what it is. See if the principal can step in and have some pos positive intervention. Uh oh. It's not a good look, Sam. Standing on your desk. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh boy, here we go. Seems like when things get a little emotionally complicated, that naughty Sam pops out. This is a strange kind of uh, element in the game that's not really explained for a while. If you've ever played Celeste, there's kind of a similar thing where we have this alter ego that can apparently drift through desks and try to speak some sense into us. Yeah, what about it? That doesn't really allow us to prove anything. But I guess we're also technically capable of uh, transcending space-time. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like class went very well. 
Yeah, thanks a lot. You bullies. You got Sam kicked out of class for nothing. Uh, poor Sam. Well. She's run into the Forbidden Land. Uh-oh. Find her before something has happened. All right. Well. As we learned, we don't really have a good way to get there, but I did accidentally kind of stumble upon it. Um, yeah, thanks, janitor. Let's see if Daniel has any advice. Headed for the Forbidden Land. The dig site. Well, yeah. There's no way you're going to make with your little scrawny legs, boy. I think it's funny, though, that the game does um, still kind of play this, like, wistful, happy, like, yeah, music, even though... You know, we're kind of in a dire situation with Sam being stuck at the dig site. Let's go ahead and save really quick. Yeah, yeah, we know. I wish there wasn't this dumb spiel every time. Save your existentialism for the other appliances, alright? I don't have time for you. Alright, let's go back to the dig site. First, I need to see the map because I don't remember where that is. Okay, it looks like it's directly east, maybe? Or west? Let's go westward. Can I go this way? Is this a place? Yes. Thank you, signs and common sense. I believe we need to go down. Yeah, my sense of direction is poo poo kachu. Non existent. Without maps and GPS, I would probably be dead right now. Oh, do we need to go in here? I might have just walked past it. The game's like, hey! There is a, uh, a chest, but I think we already got that one. That might have just been salt. I'd be salty if I didn't get it. And here's a stove. The game, from time to time, will put stoves in different set-piece areas. So if you do want to go and cook, if you need to make some refreshments, some dinners, keep your health alive. It's obviously something of import that we will get back to once we are actually in dungeons proper. But to the dig side, let's see if our co-workers can help us out. It appears Sam has run into the Forbidden Land. Yeah, you should probably tell us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not cool. That chick, don't call it, uh, don't, don't say that. Yon just wants to keep the status quo, but Chage is actually a good guy who thinks maybe spilling the beans is for the best. Thank you, Yokar. Thanks for having a soul. Oh, okay. Not horrific at all. I'm trying to take credit, of course. What a jerk. Seems like we've got a message from the PA. I can't imagine this is anybody... pleasant to be around. Oh, boy. Seems like Mr. Mayor is on the... up and up about it. That's not good. This is another good song. I don't know if this is like the mayor's theme or like a something bad is happening theme, but I still like it. What do you mean you won't tell him? He already knows. Thanks for that. All right. So I don't remember exactly how to get to the Forbidden Land. I want to say it's up to the right. That looks like that's where the... I think it's the elevator that takes you up above. We did... Oops. We did actually... Um, I did temporarily go this direction on accident when I was exploring. I don't know if I showed that on screen or not. I don't remember. It's been like two weeks. Oh, I didn't realize that the electric slugs can tee off on the other ones too. There we go. This is actually the only way up. So let's uh, go after Sam. She needs our help. And away we go. This is something that of course is Pretty heavily frowned upon to do, but we're on a rescue mission and Sam's important. So while this is going on, if you've been enjoying this video, if you could like, comment, and no, I'm just kidding. But you should do that anyway. You should always like, comment, and subscribe. It's for your health. And it's always appreciated by me. Always and forever. All right, viewers. Well, now that we've made it to the top, Headed towards the Forbidden Land. We're actually going to call it quits here. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. This has been Eastward, and we're going to go and rescue Sam next time. Bye.